Hi, welcome to another video. So, some of you might remember Claude Engineer. It was a good tool that was basically like Ader in many ways, although it was implemented in one file, which made it much more portable. However, it wasn't as good as Ader either. There was also a new iteration of it, which I had also shared, and it was great. But now, we have another iteration of it, and it's called Claude Engineer V3. It's the third version of it. Now, this Claude Engineer V3 is a redesign of Claude Engineer, and basically, it can generate and manage its own tools, continuously expanding its capabilities through conversation. It's available both as a CLI and a modern web interface. So, basically, it can generate custom tools as Claude sees fit. For example, if you ask it to do a web search, it can make its own search tool and then use that further in the chats, which means it can autonomously improve itself, which is kind of cool. There's also a new web interface for it as well, which was not available before. So, that's also great. If we talk about the web interface, then it's a sleek, modern web UI with features like real-time token usage, visualization, image upload, and analysis capabilities, markdown rendering with syntax, highlighting, responsive design for all devices, and tool usage indicators, along with a clean and minimal interface. There's also the old terminal interface as well, if you like that. There are also some built-in, pre-existing tools, like a tool that creates tools. Then there's the UV Package Manager, E2B Code Executor, Linting Tool, Basic File System Tools, Web Tools, and Utility Tools. So, that's super cool to be honest. For the API keys, you'll need an Anthropic API key and an E2B API key for Python interpreter capabilities. Now let's test it out and see how well it performs. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT 4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux, and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. Now, let's come back to the video. So, first of all, we'll need to install UV first. UV is a project and package manager for Python. So, we'll need to get that installed by running this command. Just copy it, paste it into your terminal, and it should get installed. Once it has been installed, just clone the repo on your computer. Then, get into that folder. Now, Run the UV virtual environment command, and this will create a virtual environment. Once it has been done, just get into the virtual environment. Now, you'll need to export the environment variables for Anthropic and E2B. You can get the E2B API key through the E2B site, and it's free as well. So, that's good. Just put in the API keys as environment variables. Now just run the app file for the web interface or this file for the CLI tool. Once done, it'll get started on a port and you can just go over there and you'll see it running. Also, the Claude Engineer is now much bigger and it is not in one file like before. So, it's not as portable now, which is a bummer for sure. Now, this is the interface. So, it's pretty basic. You have the chat threads here. Then you have the prompt box at the bottom. 
and you can also attach images if you need to. That's all the interface has. Let's give it a prompt and see how it works. So, just for testing, let's ask it to make a Minesweeper game and see how well it performs and how it works. So, it seems that it doesn't stream anything, and you just need to stare at this thinking thing, which is a little disappointing for sure. Okay, so it seems that it's now done. It doesn't show the tools it used, or the code it generated, or anything like that, which is a little weird for sure. But it did indeed create the thing, and you can see that in the server logs here, which is okay. Another thing is that it created the files inside the Claude Engineer folder itself, without any structure, which makes me wonder how people will use this in a proper environment, because it's not a one-page thing like before. So, how should I take this whole folder, move it to a working directory, and then work on that? It's very lackluster for sure. I don't see any such details on the GitHub either, to maybe make this a global package like Ader. So, it's not supposed to be an AI coder for sure, because you can't technically use it in anything potential. Anyway, let's just run it and see the generation. Okay, the generation is good. I mean, it's Claude, so the generation will be good, but it's fine. I mean, the self-evolving thing is great, and everything in theory but it brings nothing new to the real use case. Baby AGI had the same thing as well. So, I don't know what's so great in the custom tool thing. Anyway, it can generate custom tools. So, let's ask it to make a tool called Stock Price Fetcher, and let's ask it to tell me the NVIDIA stock price. Okay, it's now doing that. So, again, we'll have to stare at the thinking thing. So, now it's done and the tool for stock price didn't work. So, it just used the web scraper tool that it has, which is a little bad. But maybe the stock price API wasn't working or something. So, let's ask it to make an encryption tool that uses MD5 and encrypts the given string. Let's send it and see. Okay, so, after waiting a bit, it did indeed create it, and it works fine. So, from what I see, this is not a coder or engineer from what the name suggests or what the previous things were. This is an AI agent that can probably code as well, like what GPT me is or what Agent Zero is. So, I don't know why this is not a separate thing rather than being called Claude Engineer because this is in no way a proper coding thing. The previous one was a proper coder but this is not, and it's an AI agent that can create its tools and stuff like that. So, that's what it is. Even as an AI agent, I don't see much worth in this because you already have a bunch of agents that can do better than this, like GPT me. So, the tech is good, but I actually don't get the stuff like this. I think there was also the Agent K, if you remember, that could make its own tools, and it was pretty early compared to this, and it was also a lot lackluster. So, I don't see much worth in this, but probably some of you may see some worth in it. So, you can try it out. It's not bad, but it's not super good either. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.